Good morning students. Today we are going to learn about how to download and install Scratch Junior in our laptop. First of all, you will open a link which is given in your description. Then you will click on download win. Download win means for windows. Once your download is finished, you will click this icon from your download option that is scratch junior icon. After this, you will be having this screen. You will click on the home and you will find scratch junior main screen. Now we are going to start our scratch junior first lesson. Go to home click on this plus icon which is called new project now you will be having a big screen called scratch junior before starting this I want you to learn these basics this is called full screen option this is called grid option this is called change background option through which we can change background this is called text tool where we can write something in our background for example scratch junior This is called reset and in the end go option. This is called stage. You can click and make many stages as many as you can. This is called changing the character or taking a new character. For example, if I have taken a new character and I don't want this character to be on my stage so I will double click on the character and will remove it before going before starting or these options I want you to learn about these options which are used to create our script so let's learn these options these blocks are called triggering blocks which allow your character or script to run. The first we have start on green flag which allows your script when the green flag is tapped. Start on tap. Start the script when you tap on the character. Start on bump. When the character's when the character is touched by an other character, we will use this block. Start on message. Whenever script or message of a specified color is sent, we will use start on message. And the last one is send a message. We can also send a message of a specified color. These all blocks are represented with yellow color. Motion blocks. Motion blocks are represented with blue color and these options or blocks allow our character to move. Move right will make our character to move right, move left, move up, move down, turn right, turn left, Hope. Hope will make our character go up to the specified number of grid squares and then come down. And go home. Go home will reset the character's location to its starting position. Now we will look looks blocks. Look blocks are say shows a specified message in a speech bubble above the character grow will grow your character or increase the size shrink will decrease the character size reset 
the size, return the character to its default size, hide and show will hide and show your character. These all are represented with purple color. Sound blocks. Sound blocks are only two blocks represented with green color. Play a pop sound with this pop block and play a sound recorded by user with this block. Control blocks are of orange color. These are weight means your character will wait for a few seconds and then will perform any action. Stop. Stop all the character's script. Set speed changes the rate at which certain blocks are run. And finally repeat will run the blocks inside a specified number of times. These all are represented with orange color. In the end, we have end blocks with red color and represent or indicate the end of the script. Repeat forever means runs the script over and over. And in the end, we have go to page, which changes a specified page of the project. So these all were the basic blocks in Scratch Junior which we will be using and creating our story. Hope you understood all these and you will create a beautiful script with Scratch Junior. Thank you. Bye bye. Allah Hafiz.